Welcome to the Smart Science Measurement video about gas, volume, and temperature. And the question in this lab is, if we increase the temperature of a sample of gas, what happens to the volume of that gas? Uh, does it get bigger? Does it get smaller? How are temperature and volume related? So first you're going to notice we've got this interesting setup. Um, sort of this close-up picture shows you a, a digital thermometer with the meter sticking into the water bath. And then you've got this syringe with the gas in it and a close-up of the syringe on the far right. And this will be a lot easier to understand once you see it in the video. Um, you'll notice the instruction. We're going to try to click on the bottom of that syringe in each image. Syringe holds the gas inside of it. So if it goes up, you know the gas is expanding. If it goes down, the gas is getting smaller. Let's see what we can figure out. How does temperature affect the volume of gas? Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is pick or write a hypothesis you'd like to test. Um, in this case, most classes you'll be picking a hypothesis, only for advanced classes you'll be writing your own. Once you've got a hypothesis in place, we're gonna pick one of the four gases that are available or substances, air, helium, propane, and pentane. If I just pick air, you'll notice we have a little topical video. It's gonna show us sort of opening up the syringe and putting some air inside of it. Then we're going to close it back up again and stick it in that water bath, which is very cold at the beginning, and now start to heat it up and see what happens to that volume. Now you can see a close-up picture. It's a little easier to see what's going on here. The syringe, the thermometer, and there's that close-up. So if you just click on that black, or I think it's more of like a dark brown line right there, you're going to get volume measurements over time. And actually, it's not over time. It's for each temperature increment we measure the volume. So you're actually going to get on this graph a direct relationship between temperature and volume, which is really amazing. Um, go ahead and measure all the different data points for each of the four different substances. When you're done measuring, you can save. You can always reset to do your data again. And once you save each one of the substances, they'll get a color and you can compare them using the all button. Learn more about the temperature and volume relationship for gases in this smart science lab.